open the meeting. Did yeah. you get my little flag yet? Your little flag? Because we have to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, no, I have not. We're going to still have to. I've seen mm -hmm. my little flag is the one that I have. Always have but yes. Right oh, we could do that. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right. questions on your report I'd like to deal okay. with. You want to do them now? Yeah, we can do those now. Um, okay, I was doing a reading through this and I'm still concerned, you said you would ask Steve to contact me, that there's only eight inches of space beneath that floor. If you try to put in a support structure like this shows, yeah, it, it isn't going to fit. It already fits because it's my building, David. Those are pictures from my. Yeah, I know, but if you try and do it in the 18th, um, right? Um, we thing. gotta talk. Why you gotta talk, Reverend Morrison House, and not. Yes, I know. Okay. Um, now that's the what sure the question is. Only, how is that going to fit? I don't know, Frank. You're pretty sure we're only down to eight inches. We're what? Only eight inches of crawl space in there. Yes. Well, you and I could get through, but not. Not yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I mean, what they did under your barn is certainly two or three feet. Right, is. but the other one is in the house. And we have crawl space, the same thing as you did. You couldn't get in, it's probably only yeah. that much. And, and I wondered as well what would happen to any of the existing vertical support, how they would be accommodated or would they be removed? Well, the problem is because we can't get in to see what condition the yeah. floor is in at the like get it open to get an idea um Anne has not shared the pictures with us or has anybody uh, she's been trying two or three times we but but those are from 10 years ago right was that when the first floor was done well that and yeah, oh, the for the record, show you for, what the record the structure is. for the record i'm sorry for the record mike melagudi chad france and I was saying, Kirsten. Kirsten. Kirsten is here to be a part of the meeting. More thoughts, the better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I, I, I'm just sort of concerned before we sort of endorse it, this sort of approach. Well, I that, agree, that I'm not, and I'm not asking. I'm, get I'm, a couple of answers to those questions, and the other thing that concerned me. Okay. Um, Steve is your husband. Correct. Um, aside from the work you've done on your own home. Correct. Is there any kind of business relationship between him and Stan's Granite State or any anticipated one that could be no, brought up as a we, conflict? No, because we okay. hired them to do our property and they're experts in yeah, the Yeah, I just wanted to sort of, I haven't talked I'd rather to see it aired now than right. have it come up and bite us in right. behind in a right. few years. No, there's no, there's no monetary value or anything. I would have stepped away yeah. if there was. You're satisfied with And I would conflict. have brought them in. I do have the morals to yeah. behave like that. Yeah, I mean, I did a bit of digging around myself and Granite State certainly seems to be pretty good. They're right. rated A plus by bread or business. Well, better business isn't what I'm concerned about when you're lifting up a building. So. No, I know, but uh, the gen their reviews, they've done a lot of work. They lifted the Stoddard Congregational Church and repositioned it. Right, I mean, that's what right. we got them thing, as a so. good reputation. But we have they, no contact. They seem them. to be highly confident. Right, other than um, that, but we say, were, I, they were recommended yeah. to us, and uh, we went with them. I, I suspect if, if we recommend this as an approach, I think it should be accompanied by a suggestion that someone qualified in historic building techniques, a professional, at least look over what we're suggesting to say, hey, watch out for this or it's okay. There's 12 of them listed in the New Hampshire Preservation Alliance 
Pam's got one, any one of them would do a consult of what you propose to do. Would they, so David, have you done the research to find out what the charge is? So uh, it's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than the twenty to 30000 we spent on this Sampson report. No, it's 50 actually. Hmm? It's over 50. It's not going to be over 50,000. No, the Sampson report was over 50. Was it? Yeah. But no, it's just, uh, as I say, I strongly, before I would endorse this if it went with that caveat that it should be looked at by a professional as well. Well, I don't think he is in the business of what you're looking, what you're asking for. That's a total different ask. I brought Stan in because he lifted our barn. I wanted to see if there was any capability of us even lifting yeah. uh, the Reverend Moore. Because of this, the condition, because of the status, because nobody knows what's underneath there. Nobody knows the condition of the foundation. Nobody knows anything. He said there's no way he can lift it because oh no, you to, can't right, lift the building unless he sticks yeah. the steel beams through the, the walls which will be substantial cost for us that's, yeah and, it's and way beyond that right. that's already been so explained. that that part of the proposal was more of an informational yeah gathering we now know which is what i think the most important part of all of this is we now know that i think at this point, we have to get it structurally s determined if it's sound. Yes. Versus worrying about all the other details because if we can if it's not structurally sound, sound, then we have another. You got another problem. problem. Yeah, I don't. And now we're talking uh, but about I mean, resting into resting a that floor layer. on a cradle type thing like you show is seems like a very good way to deal with it. But it, we can the problem is because he can't lift it he can't we can't get somebody in to pull to excavate it to get the ability to have somebody who's volunteered at cost to do the foundation mm -hmm. to get in there to pour to do the frost walls to do all of that because we can't get the building up we can't stabilize the building in order for somebody to dig underneath so that option is pretty much off the table. Okay, I, I, I guess I guess I'm, I'm mm. kind of losing something here. Yeah. Uh, I thought our charge was to see how soon we could get the building open. To 100 people or less, less than 100, 100 people to, to occupy it. To less than 100 Correct. people. What is it going to, and, and I, the best of my knowledge, there's a lot of, not a lot of money left, not a lot of money for us to do some of these things that we're talking about here. Correct. I mean, what we don't have any money for I, 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 well, okay, <laughs> I, I put it in a nice way, you know, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, there may be some, and maybe the town manager can help us out and tell us you know, what, what is there. But we, we've spent the last two months talking about how we can get the facility open and what it's going to cost to get it open uh, to 99 or less. And one of the things, I, I, I'm sure I brought it up to you at one point, Kathy, is we need to get people in here to tell us they, they're going to use the hall. They, they would like to use that hall. And in our report, I believe that the council is looking for that. They want to know if it opens, who's going to use it, who has at least a thought of using it. And how are we going to pay the bills? That's what they want to know, too. Okay, so the town manager is here, Mike Melagudi. Yeah. And I'm going to have him address um, the town's issue, the, how they're going to work with us. 
to and how they are working with us to okay. deal with the structural and stuff. And now that the the only caveat I'm going to put in this before I'm going to give the floor to the town manager and the vice, uh, the, excuse me, the chair okay. of the council because Ch Chad has had his hand raised for a bit. And I'm going to just pull back from the committee and let them speak because they're, you know, a lot of the questions that we're all having is, is going to be answered there. Um, I think we need, I think the one thing we need to remember, Frank, in all of this is it is his property now as the town manager. And we can't take the risks of just putting a new floor in and finding out that a wall's going to collapse. And you know what I'm saying? So it's got to go through a cop process. So I'll let Mike address that. Well, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I am here to speak in public comment. Um, and I don't want to get out ahead of anything that, that you no. might have to say. Um, no, please say uh, whatever you'd like. Thank you. Um, I am happy to um, talk to the appropriate people and get answers to the questions that the committee might have. That's not why I came specifically tonight, so I'm not prepared to address those, um, those questions other than to say that everything is on the table and we're happy to uh, work with the committee to um, address uh, any of those questions to make sure that we can support the committee as much as uh, as much as we can so do you see that the resources of the town including um, Dave Wally who seems to be the project manager on all of this is open for for our for us as a resource I'm not sure I would characterize Dave as the project manager he is in charge of facilities as the DPW director um, he has been given tasks by the town council and by me uh, including uh, supervising the preparation of uh, the Weston and Sampson report. Um, he is in charge of maintaining the structure such as it is. Um, but uh, to the extent there is going to be a project, I think that appropriate arrangements would have to be made to, to, to ensure that it, there's a superintendent uh, or a project manager, as, as you term it. Um, uh, and that's going to differ based on what the scope of the project is. Does anyone have any questions for Mike? And then I'm going to go to Chad. Well, we were also talking about Derek in our group because he has a diverse background around these things. So you know, trying to gather all the resources we can to. But is but is Mike? I mean, is David going to be a willing participant with the committee to try to resolve this issue? He's never been anything but a chair. And in that connection, I'd like to. Um, I came to speak in public comment, and uh, if it's an appropriate time for me to do it so, is. I would very much appreciate it. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, as I've said in the past, I have no interest in involving myself with the direction of this committee uh, or how it, ch it chooses to approach uh, its work. However, um, that does not mean that I will stand silently by um, while a member of my staff is disparaged. I'm referring to comments made by members of this committee at the August 15th meeting regarding DPW and Facilities Director David Wally. Not only were these remarks insensitive towards one of the hardest working and most valuable employees in town, they also happened to be completely incorrect. The remarks that I'm referring to um, are as follows, that the DPW Director is, quote, completely unwilling to work with us, close quote. Mm. Quote, he didn't want anything to do with it, meaning the project, close quote. Quote, personally, I don't want Dave Wally involved because I think his goal is to get it torn down. He does not seem to have any interest in working with this committee at all. Close quote. John, fact, um, can you make sure John gets those for the yeah, minutes? Yes. The fact of the matter, thank you, Madam Chair, is that there has been no more ardent supporter of the Reverend Morrison Meeting House mm -hmm. project than Mr. Wally. And just as an example, within the last several weeks, he braved bats and bat excrement to assist a member of this committee in accessing the site. I would also point out that rather than advocating for the destruction of this structure, he has been consistently one of the loudest voices highlighting the risks of leaving the building vacant on a long-term basis. Agree with his views on the project or not, no one has worked harder to preserve and improve our town facilities, including the Reverend Morrison Meeting House. I have repeatedly pushed back on far milder comments directed by board members towards my employees. These comments were inappropriate, and Dave is entitled to an apology. 
We need to be able to disagree with each other and still maintain a basic level of civility, which I did not witness in this case. I am working to be more mindful of the way my own words impact others, and I would encourage all of our boards and committees to do the same, especially when we are talking about someone who works as hard as Dave Wally does for the benefit of this community. Thank you, Madam Chair. You're welcome. Well, you got your hazardous waste, Larry. Pardon the me? back one. Pardon me? Oh, the back one, yeah. I hope you had mask on so you don't get lung, black lung, because that's very, can, makes you very sick. I know that from cleaning out my house. <laughs> Chad. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Chad Franz won Sunflower Lane. I'm the chairman of the town council, uh, but I'm not speaking on behalf of the council. Uh, just uh, to kind of pivot on what Frank was saying earlier, I think, I believe one of the, the first charges from the council was to figure out the functional use. And I think that, you know, to, to give uh, Frank some credit about, you know, who, who would use it, what would we use it for, uh, how it would be used, what, what kind of fee schedule would be put in, put in place, how would that work out, how would it be managed. I think those are all very important things on, on this committee's, part of this committee's charge is, is to figure that out, as well as how we're going to do that. So obviously, and I'm no construction expert, I'm a recruiter, um, different types of construction would dictate what types of use. And, you know, we heard, you know, less than 90 or 99 and less or less than 100 and such. And I just think that use would be very important. And if we, you know, and maybe that's something that the town manager or town staff uh, could help uh, partner with this this committee and, 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 uh, and look at. Okay, so if I'm hearing what you're saying, then the charge has kind of changed a little bit in the sense that you want us to determine if there's even functionality a, a, a possibility of use mm -hmm. before we commit to I, everything else i'm not saying the charge has changed a little bit i'm saying that that was part of the original charge and i think that is as equally important as mm -hmm. as bringing it up bringing it up to to its functional use but as i was saying you know some some types of uh uses might require different types of styles of construction or different types of facade or, or what have you and again you know i'm not speaking on behalf of the council but as i recall when we were establishing the charge i believe that the functional use and who would use it or what types of use um, and how that would be used was was all part of it and i i just i think that's something important to highlight and then just to pivot yeah. off of what frank was saying but we've been told mm -hmm that and i'm not trying to put you on the spot but we've been told that there are certain things that must be done before we can even open the building right as the town council can you direct st uh, the, the town manager to get that from from staff what's the absolute minimum we have to do in order to get the building open and if we know that then we have a good then we've been given the direction we need to know how to go out and bid it and then also mm -hmm. determine if we can accommodate the general public to use the building. Right. Thanks. I think a lot of work had been put in up to this date from the committee and I think that that work is very important and, and like I said, um, you know, as the town manager had already said, you know, he, he has no problems uh, working with the committee or having his staff, his staff work with the committee. So, you know, with partnership with him, I think that's something that he would be more than amenable to do. Well, I think we need all the information from what Ann says. I mean, I'm using Ann, not to be, but she said there's folders and all kinds of stuff up in building that we've never even been privy to see. Mm -hmm. And, and I don't, I don't know if it exists. I don't, you know, but I think it would be good that this committee saw the, be, the Samson lesson is a nice um, government hired engineer that comes in that, as John says, pulls crap, 
folks out of the file cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see what the town actually has determined. Right. I want to see what you as the town have absolutely determined as the minimum we can do mm -hmm. because we have a huge stickler on sprinklers and I'm sorry but if we're going to get held to a different um, standard then when are you going to put the sprinklers in the Mayflower Grange? Right. I mean that's that's where, uh, where right. we need some real right. Guidance, mm -hmm. concrete yeah. guidance as to what direction, what is acceptable from you as the town to, to, to and then just refine, 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 and just get down to the bare minimum. Now, I know the most important thing is you're not going to want us to open the structure if it's a safety hazard. Mm -hmm. Right, but like even, even with like, you know, some venues might need outlets in certain places or types of functions might need an outlet in the middle or in the back or something like that or or might need a toilet at wherever that that's more what i'm talking about is i think and, it's and, important to and i think as a committee we determined one of the big um areas that everybody's overlooked is that pavilion mm -hmm. and how that can be rented out and used we talked about how people have said, wouldn't that be a nice location for a restaurant? I really doubt a restaurant is going to want to put that much money into the building to open up a restaurant, but we could open the pavilion much easier mm -hmm. to like barbecues and things like that, which would start generating the funds. That was one of the suggestions. Um, we had quite a few well, of them. I can't remember from If the I'm minutes. hearing what you're saying, Chad, and I think the task we have before us seems so daunting because we're talking about structure and history and all that. We only have until October, right. so the council mm -hmm. and our town manager just wants us to bring it back down to a more basic level. How can we use the building right. and, and who, who functionality who of it? And, and actually, um, we discussed this at the last meeting, but Larry and I have been working to have Nick possibly tomorrow, and we haven't had a chance to talk about this, but to have um, Nick as our, we at the last meeting, you know, Kathy had said that it was a good idea, so we've been trying to work on it together. Have our building inspector, which has incredible knowledge and has done so much within our town, um, just to go in along, he suggested Brian Johnson as our fire person, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to give us the, the most basic things, most important things right, we have right. to do. And then with Larry, myself, and, you know, um, anyone else, that, to kind of see what is the most basic, because it's right. a daunting task when we're thinking about structure and opening things up to do that by October. And as Kathy had said in the beginning, seeing this in phases. So you want to see the functionality of, of what we would see going, being, right, would it be the Boy Scouts? Would mm -hmm. it be, you know, a book club? Would it, you know, something like a birthday party? Right. Things like that. And I think, and I think, it, you know, the scope right now is here, the, the left and right lateral limit is right here. Right. And, and once established, like, all right, this is what it's going to be for, even maybe that, that basic, you know, what do we need to get it open might vary a little bit and that and figuring that out will help save that time because it might be a few degrees off, but figuring it out might might get you ex pinpoint exactly where you guys will land yeah. for that original intent. Yeah. Are you willing to listen to opening the building in stages rather than the whole building at one time? So I can't speak on behalf of the council um, that's truly going to be, you know, in partnership with this committee and the town manager's office. The ca it is going to be a council decision. So I can't speak to that because that'd be just out of line for me to do that. Um, but I'm just refer just referring to the charge. I, I'm, I'm not asking you to speak for the council, but I'm, I, what I'm asking you is, do you want the whole, not you, I guess I'm looking for some input from you, and I'm, I'm not going to take you for the council, uh, speaking for the whole council. But are you willing to, you, willing to listen to opening the building in stages? 
And the reason I'm asking that is we we have uh, the prior guy, Brian. Brian said, Johnson, Chief Johnson. Yeah. Um, for 99 people or less, we may be able to open one section of the hall. Mm -hmm. And if this committee stays in in its place or, or you put a new committee in, maybe they can study a new uh, phase to open it up even further. Now, I, I'm talking about electricity. The, Dave talks a lot about electricity. Uh, right now, all the electricity as far as the lines are concerned, is working well. It may not be up to his standard, but it most electricity is fine. But we can, if we can open up the hall, at least in phases, we can go from there to electricity, to uh, handicap ramps and that other, we, we do have a, you, you've been in the hall, you know mm -hmm. about we get the back ramp, and uh, somebody said, uh, well, who wants to go to the back door? Well, maybe not forever, but it's there and it's usable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Mike's, Mike's ready. I, I do have something sure. to say. Sure. Can I can I address that if, that, if, if you're all right with that? Yeah, and then as soon as Chad's done, we'll hear from Mike. Thank you. Um, I'm one... So, so the, the, I, I believe the reason why the council established the committee is to help give options on, on what can be there. And I think just me personally, and, and, I'll, and if I can use your, 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 your previous profession as, as an example, when you were in a law enforcement officer, you did a full investigation before you came to the determination to move it forward. Is that correct? Correct. So, so with me, when I make my decisions, one of five, mm -hmm. part, part of what I like to do is I like to get all the information, and that's why I'm, I'm really, you know, weighing okay. heavily on, on the committee on the present, present that. So, so, yes, that is one avenue that we, the town could go. There are multiple other avenues, and, and I think I personally need some more information before I can really opine on Okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Town Mike, manager. You, you, you want to get back here. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I think I'm able to address some of those questions. I think that to answer the question that you had um, about uh, anything that the, the committee needs in terms of documentation or resources that uh, you think are upstairs, are at DPW, are anywhere else, we're happy to look for them and provide them. Um, I think that um, I think that this this question about what is the bare minimum that needs to be done in order to open the facility, I think we largely have answered that. I think that um, it's in an email that was uh, supplied in advance of uh, the second meeting of this committee. I'm happy to recirculate it, but it answers these questions about ADA um, trigger points and um, uh, fire suppression. It, as I understand it, I don't have the email in front of me as I remember it, um, you, you legally do not need sprinklers to open it up. You are limited in terms of who, who, how many people can use it, but you do not need a sprinkler system in order to reopen the building. Mm -hmm. You need a floor that is structurally sound. That is going to cost a significant amount of money. Um, and you need uh, a, an upgraded fire panel before the structure is open. Um, that comes directly from the fire department. So I think that um, that is the universe of things that, and I can tell you that, um, Madam Chair, you're exactly correct. It is, it is town property, it's under my jurisdiction. Those are the things I would be looking for in order to uh, determine that it's safe to potentially open. Um, there are other items that uh, may well fail the day after we open it, including electric, including HVAC, I don't have visibility on those systems other than what you can see in the, in the, in the preliminary work that Weston and Sampson has done. Can the building be opened in phases? Legally? Practically? Sure. It, it, it can be. I would encourage uh, the committee, you know, and I think that, that, that 
Councillor Farrell and I emphasized this in the in the organizational meeting of this committee. Um, that yes, the charge gives a deadline of October um, to provide a report to the town council. That report might say, um, this is what we've learned. Uh, we need more time uh, to do our work. And uh, if it says, you know, this is what's required in order to get the building open, these are some potential uses uh, that you might see there. Here are some things that go with those uses that we should be thinking about. Um, and I think that uh, the council and the community uh, have the expectation that we're going to at least look at preliminary on a preliminary basis how we might fund this. Um, and there are various ways that we could do it. I think that the community it would probably go a long way with the community if we talked about a fundraising program because I do think there is a fountain of support for uh, the, the Lions Hall and for this committee that is waiting to be accessed. I think that there are potential grants uh, that uh, could, could be accessed. I think you should talk to Mike Speltz on the Conservation Commission because he does a lot of LCHIP uh, grant work. And I think that um, there are other ways that this could be funded on an ongoing basis. You know, we don't have a history of um, raising and appropriating um, huge amounts of money each budget cycle to maintain our aging infrastructure. And that's something that I've encouraged the council to look at, and I, I think that the council is certainly willing to do it. Um, we have an expendable maintenance trust fund that uh, is you know, solely responsible for a lot of these facilities. Are we funding it at the right level? Let's have that conversation. So I would encourage the committee not to, um, to look past October um, and, uh, and consider whether um, uh, a preliminary report at that time uh, with uh, some future steps might be appropriate. So Mike, and then I'm gonna let you go, Eric, because I know you got a ton of questions. Um, just fixing the floor is not gonna get us back in that building. I would agree. There, there, if we start touching that building, we're required to do a couple other things. And probably the most important is the ADA, compliancy. I mean, we can't open that building without bathrooms. I, I, I don't understand that. The bathrooms are usable, they're functional, so to speak. And yes, at some point, that's going to have to be addressed. But it's not necessary to open a building because they are functional bathrooms. If the women's room needs to be gone over, you know, take one of the stools out, <laughs> uh, make it a little bit bigger, and so on and so forth, that's, that's something that could come in steps. If I'm hearing the town manager and, 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 and the town council chair, they're saying, tell us what you know now and what is you're facing as things go up. I believe that's what both of you were telling us. Mike, do you know something more about the bathroom yeah. situation? Yes, I do, Madam Chair. If, if, and I need to excuse myself because I'm running a CBA meeting in 10 minutes. Um, I, I believe the, the ADA question is not straightforward. So I, I think that one of the things uh, that we should do is to access expert advice about what the ADA trigger points are, because it is not a straightforward analysis, as you pointed out. Um, I think that as, as best we understand it, if you do something to the bathrooms, they need to be upgraded to full ADA uh, standard. Do they, Mike, sorry to interrupt. Do they have to be... If we open that building right. again, can, do we have to, because we've, we're putting a fire, we have to, in order to open the building, you said we have to have the fire, so what is it, Submission. enunciation Correct. thing. Um, would that consider enough of a renovation that would force ADA compliancy? I don't believe so, but I'm not an ADA expert, and that's why I suggest that you know, it's we're not talking about huge money here. Is let's access, right. and that could be one of the recommendations: is re retain or identify an ADA uh, expert who can answer that question for us. Give us some usable data about what the trigger points are um, to either confirm or dispel what I what I just said, which is if you touch the if you touch the element itself, you have to upgrade it. If we touch the front steps, 
and they're not ADA compliant, we have to we have to upgrade it. But if we're not touching the bathroom, as I understand it, there is a chance that um, in the first place we don't need to uh, bring it up to, to ADA standard. I apologize. Uh, I have to step out and um, uh, meet with the ZBA. But I thank you for your time this evening. Thank you. 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 Uh, I'm sorry, Larry. No. Need to ask your oh, question. No. Oh, did you have a question uh, for Mike? Question for no. Chad, if I may. Okay. Um, we talked, mentioned earlier about a list of possible uses, and it sounded like you were saying, could we get a list of all these groups or something that might use it? And I'm rather concerned that that seems to be almost unnecessary. I mean, if you open it up, for use by meetings of any group that is interested. I don't quite understand why we have to have a list of all the individuals. Like, for example, the Historical Society might apply to use it for a meeting or something. I think it's generalities. Like they just want us to give them a, a very, like, just a few ideas to show that it can be used. For, Types of use. I, I remember the karate okay. class. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy. Have interest. Yeah, I'm quite happy. happy with the generality thing. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, we so for, yes. Clear, for clarity, yeah. you're looking to say, oh, there's a possibility of a karate class would like to do it. Yeah. Um, Girl you Scout. know, a Girl, Girl Scout might be. Larry's come up with a lot of ideas, of a craft fair, you know, things, things you're looking for right. a list like that. Yeah, I'm not looking for specific right. organizations. Okay. Yeah, yeah just I'm looking for the types yeah. of right. use. Yeah, I think we, we had that from an earlier meeting yeah. somebody suggested yeah. a list. I remember seeing it somewhere in I my binder. I think you just want the why of the October yeah. meeting. Yeah. 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 Give you just more. want the us to I'm give you to rally as to why we need to keep moving forward to phase and actually one, one, two, three. Extra one right. from like because I think what the town is also looking for is to be sure that somebody's going to use it. You know, I think we've we've talked about it in our meetings. Uh, it can be used for a warming station in the in the winter time. You know, uh, it it can be used. Uh, uh, and that's something we could add to it, Frank, too, because that's a different usage than all of the other possibilities. Sure. But if yeah, you get it into a yeah. warming station, Frank, that opens a can of worms oh, in the sense we, we get more people yeah. in ADA. We, yeah. we don't make the decisions. All the all we do, at least the way okay, I'm you seeing it, it is a the way I'm seeing it, right. is they want to know what can it be used for. Right. Then they'll make a decision as to whether it's going to be used for that or not. Mm. Uh, and then the next I, I, charge might be that we have to figure out how to get there, like to do some of these things. I think they just want to see the value in moving right. forward. That's yeah. That's where I'm coming from. Which seems to make more yeah. sense because yeah. in the you know in eight yeah. meetings yeah. or ten meetings, it's you know we can accomplish that, mm -hmm. and then also get like with you know Kathy with the floor with Kathy's knowledge of the floor and what it's going well, to take to get there. You, you know, people do. Yeah, other people yeah, but do. where to get it, you know. So um, that makes well, a lot of and, sense. And if I, if I may, one thing, like, you know, if we're talking, and, and again, uh, everything's on the table right now, but, but if, if the committee recommends phases, you know, a question I might have, and, and, I, and I believe I heard the committee correctly, is that, you know, the floor needs to be addressed. You know, I, I believe I heard that's, that's really yeah. a high, high on the priority list. Yeah, you can't do anything until yeah. that's done. My question would be, if, if the floor is addressed and then, you know, down the road, a, a toilet or toilets are adjusted, what if there's something, the, the foundation, you know, the floor is, is, is part of one of the most important buildings or parts of the construction. And, and I think the last thing that anyone would want to do is have it set, the footprint set for, you know, for the first portion and then, oh, now we have to dig up or excavate or rip right. up because we have to put more plumbing in and stuff like that. And I just think that, and again, I'm not a construction expert. No. I have not restored any barns, but I'm just saying, you know, that I think that would be not a good route to go down, especially, if, all right, you know, we're gonna have to address this ADA, pro, this ADA um, situation 
and, and, and move toilets and move plumbing and stuff, then we put all this work into the floor, you know, how would we address that? And I think that's important. But did Mike just tell us if we, if we could, you, you could use the bathrooms? Right now, ADA wouldn't be bothering us. I, I think Mike said that he that, that he is not an ADA ex expert, and that's mm -hmm. something that we don't know. Mm -hmm. Leonard, did you have any? Mm -hmm. You've yeah. been yeah. sitting yeah. here. Yeah. The point is, morning. even if that is the case, and we do something else further, the town does something further down that requires the bathroom and ADA, then if you can't fit that future work in because of something we did in stabilizing the floor, then we got a big problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yeah. David, I'm gonna let Larry have the floor. He's so patiently been waiting. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. No, no, we're all good. Um, <laughs> so over the past weeks, we've been, we've been talking around these, these concerns and issues, and in an effort to focus uh, what, what we're going to have to accomplish between now and, and October, mm -hmm. we started to put things into a framework which I think addresses the utilization aspect of it. What, what might it be used for? What are the key elements that we need to address in order to get, at a minimum, get the building open again mm -hmm. for public use? Mm -hmm. So that framework is something that we've been discussing and, and putting down on paper. Uh, we had actually, in the last meeting, talked about getting before the town council to pr provide an interim update on what we've come up mm -hmm. with and give some feedback and make, you know, make a course correction accordingly. But I would welcome some feedback in terms of what we've got down there right now. Again, we've been focusing on the floor, potentially the underpinning of the floor, the sub, sub um, structure in terms of stabilizing that, making sure that, David, to your point, which we've discussed quite a bit, making sure that we don't paint ourselves into a long-term corner by making mm -hmm. a short-term decision that's going to block a better u utilization of the building down the road. Uh, um, and then the ADA thing has been top of mind. So it, it sounds like a, a good thing for us to do is to identify an ADA expert and find out what those trigger points are in terms of um, next moves and what, whatever we do in terms of modification. Um, I've been concerned about, and this was in the Western and Samson report, um, a discussion about hazardous materials that might be in the building that need to be addressed before the public comes in from a town liability standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're, we're working to get the building inspector and fire marshal in maybe as early as tomorrow to do a walkthrough and give us their feedback on what needs to be done at a bare minimum. And so we've tried to put this into a framework mm -hmm. um, that we can use as a roadmap moving forward and any feedback that you might give us in terms of whether we're on track with this or whether we need other need to be considering other things right. would be most helpful at this uh, point. I don't, if I can, I don't think that, uh, like, I don't believe that the committee is off track. I think that you guys are absolutely doing everything you can to, to do what the council has charged you as. I just wanna just wanted to quickly state that you know, like I said earlier, you know, find, finding what is the general use of it. So regarding your list, um, a, a, again, I, I'm not a construction expert. I mean, I I wouldn't even begin to to know where to start on, on this. You know, whether it's ADA or or hazmat mitigation. Like, what if what if uh, you know the window sills have lead paint in it, or the you know the walls aren't going to be touched, so they don't. We don't have to worry about that right now. But the window sills still have lead paint and that needs to be addressed. You know, there's a lot of unknown things, and I think that you know with cooperation with with building and fire and, and um, using you know, our resources. using the resources, I think that's really going to help. You know, hone that in. I'm I sorry for not giving you a direct answer. No, that's no, fine. No, I mean, that's fine. We need to hear this. You know, it's it's a lot to tackle in a short period of time. Sure. What we're trying to focus on is uh, being responsible in this process, right. finding the most expeditious and cost-effective way and, to move and forward. The council, and the council might hear your brief at the next council meeting and say, all right, you know, 
again, I can't speak for half of them, right. but they might they might say, all right, well, there's still some some groundwork that needs to be done, so some some you know road ahead of the committee and, and extending or whatever. I think the original intent, the reason why October was was given was just because we're coming into that budget season and, the, and going through that. And if this is something that we're gonna put on before the voters, that's the timeline to hit. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, it helps, yes. Thank you. I guess You're that's you. it, unless anybody has any more questions. Uh, did, While we've got the audience. Did you understand uh, the town manager saying we needed a new fire uh, alarm, mm -hmm. I guess it was mm -hmm. fire yeah. panel. Panel, I think. I think it was, yeah. Okay. Because uh, you didn't you guys tell us last meeting that you were being inspected and you were being approved for use of the building with what no, was we, in it? We, uh, I think we were inspected uh, before we moved out. And the fire, in fact, the fire used to call me all the time when they, when, it, when they, they had the alarm go off mm -hmm. and they they know how to get in. So I don't know. I, I'll talk to Brian, see see what he what he has to say. And I I'll get an answer for that. There's no no okay. ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. You go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> Sherry and I were talking uh, um, about getting Brian and um, Nick. Nick yeah. If, yeah, maybe as early as tomorrow. So Sure. Unfortunately, Derek um, wasn't able to be here last week or, or tonight, uh, but I've been in communication with him, and he's been trying to coordinate um, a time for us to get in and do the inspection, to do the building inspection, and, and now the fire inspection. So the goal is by this time next week, or you know, when we meet next Thursday, we'll have a baseline of um, you know what their take on the building is in terms of uh, opening okay. back up. Okay. Okay. And Derek is available tomorrow. Um, Larry found it between 10 and 2-ish, so we're, that's what we're thinking, around okay. 11 if we can. But Chirsten, I'm, I guess we have a, how will we get into the building? I have keys and okay. Dave Wally has keys, so one of the two of us. Would that work for you for tomorrow? So, can talk so, about just, so just okay. publicly, so everybody's hearing, yeah. this is your charge. We don't yeah. need to post, we don't need to have a Keep meeting, going. this is charge. Part of the charge the of the subcommittees, yeah. and so I just just Thank wanted you. everybody to yeah. know that you guys will be just part of our committee, right? Doing this as part of the committee. Okay. Yeah. 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 So chat with me after the meeting. I pull up my schedule and see what time I call. Okay. Okay. Any more questions in public comment? Because I think public comment covered probably old business too. Yeah, <laughs> it covered a ton of stuff. Very probably a little bit of new business. Very much. So I think I'm gonna Very hold helpful. the approval of the minutes till the end and see if there's any more in new business we think we need to go over. Because we pretty much, we, are, we, we got our direction to build our plan to the town council. Very helpful. We, the only thing we haven't talked about is starting a bidding process, and I don't, and, and the bidding process was dependent on the answers, but we got different, smaller obstacles in our way in the sense of the ADA compliant person. I think that probably makes sense that we know where we stand on that, because if all we have, you know, if all we have to do is get the floor fixed and the structure okay um, and we don't have to worry about the toilets we don't have to worry right. about anything else then we move that into a phase the only concern I have and I think this is paramount to our discussion is the building belongs to the town of Londonderry mm -hmm. and there is a totally different liability involved in that and we kind of have to plan towards that because if anything happens, it's their responsibility. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're clear on that. And I think How so. Is that different yeah. in the situation when the Lions Club had it? It was still town property. They but were they were leasing, leasing it. it. So it was under yes. their, their, right? But they weren't liable if something happened like a building fell down around someone's ears. 
we had liability the insurance been, for, it would have been for the renters. At that point. There yeah. has to be compliance with the town's with the town's insurance mm -hmm. policy, which is Primex insurance, and so we would need to make sure that all conditions and all usage of the building is in compliance with their guidelines. Right, they can deny us insurance, right, if we don't mm -hmm. need that? Under, what um, did we fall? There can be, no, it was covered under the line, when you Private. receive, mm -hmm. there's another layer of accountability. Uh, we do not have a receive, okay. so therefore we will have to work. All right, enough said, I understand. Yeah. So that's another thing, I guess, Good point. that didn't even come up in the discussion, what would Primex expect? to give you guys insurance to open the building. That is something that I can look into. I mean, I think that's kind of... Another layer. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. Like because they know. might say, we can't write the town because we're not... Right. I mean, am I wrong with it, no. Sharon? <laughs> They're pretty strict about stuff. And it's before, I, before I make a statement on whether what Primex would, before we speculate on what Primex would say, let me reach out to them mm -hmm. and figure out where where they stand on the whole process. So I don't want to speculate one way or the other without having the actual concrete information. Yeah, I think that's just something idea. that I can get. Yeah, or no, I can I, at least get that process started. And I think if we could, I, I know you are busy with and recovering from old home day. Less so now. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, I heard very well. So, oh. so um, if we could get that for our next meeting, because that might have to fit into our plan yeah. of attack. Yeah, good point. I mean, because this building, if brought back, is staying completely under the town, correct? Um, it, it's up to the council and the town manager's mm -hmm. office. Okay, so we don't yeah. know if another I, lease... I hate to close the door on renting it or leasing it again. Okay, so you would be comfortable with seeing it leased. That's one of our... Um, I don't see why not. I mean, de that obviously would depend on who you're leasing to, and things. the town would work out and make sure it was suitably yeah. leased. Okay. So, so that would be one of our discussion points, points now, though, because we're not mm -hmm. so hung up on the foundation and the, the bigger, this is the bigger picture, but yet it brings us into something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, I do think everything you said, David, everything you said, Larry, everything everybody's saying is we can't just fix it and then find out six months later that fix was all for nothing and we're sitting back here. That's right. what happened the last time around. Right. Because that wasn't that Everybody long thought, long. oh, we just fixed it for and everything's good. Well, it wasn't that long What's ago, right? scary about it is, was it, would, if the floor hadn't collapsed, would other things be going on? Right. Would yeah, we be when here? Dave Wally did the walk around with us, and I don't want to spend too long on this, he pointed out things like, there are obvious signs of water damage at the base of the walls, which has nothing to do with the floor. Right. That is also something that will have to be fixed. Right, we'll have to seal. Yeah. Or get drainage yeah. in there. And I'm sure there are a lot drain. of other things like that. So right. let's not get sidetracked too much on that. Right. And the ADA compliance, and I really don't have any knowledge in that area, <laughs> but I wonder, isn't there a state agency that would send someone out to our building to That's evaluate that without charging us because i just can't imagine what the department of health and human services um, I'll, i can look into that, that yeah. because to me it just doesn't it's seem like something yeah. someone should be making a profit I'm sure off there, of right and i'm sure there's right. probably yeah. some state right. regular yeah. state regulatory I, I person that, that i can check starting that. with our secretary of state's office just to get a direction i know it's not them but I just think that's something that should be provided to Probably us. Probably ought to be. I, I think, mean, yeah. after all, it's right. enforced so by the state. Right, right. right. that's so what I think. I don't think it's yeah. something we it's should like have to pay It's like they enforce you with having right. to have those posters on right. the wall, the work posters. Yes. And, you know, I'm right. sure it's something yeah. could you, that marches could you around and does. I will, I will work on that tomorrow. Yes, I will. I don't know if it's health and harmless services. I don't know if but I uh, can, I the, so the New Hampshire Judicial Branch is charged with enforcing and ensuring compliance with the Americans for Disabilities Act. I would suggest that, again, before we speculate on what that says and how they do it, let's find out the concrete information and move on to the next topic. So we would contact this judicial branch? Let's, let's look into this and figure it out and figure out what this is. Let's not make the decision yet because we don't know who to contact. So let's, let's talk about this. So we know we need to figure out who to contact. Sherry said she would yep, figure absolutely. it out. 
I can I'll work with Sherry on that. Yeah, you can yeah. work on that. So let's you. just let's figure out for next meeting what's needed Perfect. to do that ADA because we don't know. Right. All right. So I think we got ADA covered. Yeah, because that is a big one. I think we've got. I think we have a. a I think we have a plan meeting, for the structural, yeah. Yeah. and I think we have a plan for coming up. Those are the three items. What are we going to use it for? Yeah. Try to get it structurally understood as sound. Use the resources that are presentable to us to get um, ADA to get compliance yeah. and all the other. See, there might there might be a lot of state agencies that are I up think there that really we could are. get a lot of I our questions it, answered. And I think even our Brian Johnson, to chief, will have an idea on that too, because it ties into what he does and what he's looking for. But we'll find out. You know, good learning, good education on it. Thank you. Any other questions? Everybody, good. What do you want to do? Do we want to keep talking, or do we want to no, approve fine. the minutes and? It's been a productive meeting. Very productive. Thank you, um, you know, everyone, but also, you know, that yeah. we had our town manager, our chairman, and, yeah, uh, and Chirsten, who, you know. Even Tommy Shamsu was helpful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, do we want to make a motion on the minutes? Uh, motion to and I'll second it. I'll second it. Right, I'll second it. So, uh, John, second. Larry made a motion to accept the minutes. Just like that. <laughs> and Sherry wow. made it second. I got impressed. I read them yesterday and I didn't lose any sleep. They were awesome. Yes, you did. Oh, you are doing a very good job yeah. with them. Did we have a copy of last week's meeting minutes? Mm. I didn't print that. I didn't print one because I read them online. Um, Ms. Jones, I can tomorrow, if you want to pop in in the morning, they, I can you're print you. Good, I no, I didn't know we hadn't been approved and accepted on the red I was going to... Oh, uh, Larry, yeah, made, yeah. Larry made the motion, yeah. and Sherry seconded. Thank you. Yeah. And all those in favor, David, do you want to give me a second? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no worries. Frank, are you happy? Or do you I'm have anything? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of really good discussion, mm -hmm. which was great. I, I, th I think we have... Seems to be pretty stuff. much what I remember. Thank you. I vote oh, accept. Oh, very good. Okay. Go okay. So that's... If everybody in favor? Aye. 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 The chair points in the affirmative. Right. Unanimous decision. Do we want to adjourn or do I we have... a motion to we adjourn. Mm -hmm. Aye. We'll yeah. second it. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so... Do you, Frank, do you have something? No, I, I, I thought you said you were going to have something on the new business and... Well, oh, we did. I thought we moved kind of the new business discussion and the general discussion of okay. public. Co I mean, unless there's something that's glaring that we missed. Nope, I'm, I'm a favor. And then we are meeting next week, so now we we'll have, have a meeting, lot. Meeting next Thursday, right? Yeah. Yes. Right. So just one, just quick clarification. When I set the agenda, um, is there any breakout items? In new business, like use. Prepare. I, I think the number one thing for next next week should use, be to prepare yeah. the thing for the council. I think so too, Frank. That's start a preparation point. for council. Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Should this be um, a public comment time when we present, or should it be on the agenda? We we'll put it on the agenda. Okay. So I'll just, that's the open eye line item. Perfect. Start preparation for council. And that will go under new business. Anyone, anything else, Larry? Just under old business, I think we should be Remove. focused on um, identifying and reaching out to external resources um, to address the ADA Perfect. scenario. Right. So those are action items that we need to focus on in terms of nailing down those resources. Okay, so old business, I'm gonna take out A and B and just put A as identify and reaching out to external resources. Five, I'm gonna take out all three and just put in start preparation for council. And that's it. Excellent. And then we should, uh, hopefully we'll have an update on the inspection. Um, okay. 
And before we close, Kathy, um, I'd, I'd like, for the minutes, I, I'd like to put down the, to thank the town employees for their input tonight. I think it was very helpful. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and the council dude, well, <laughs> our chairman. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> but the dude, the dude is an employee. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a volunteer and he's a councilman, and we have to acknowledge him. That's, that's what I meant. Yeah. Mm. Very I, I consider him as part of the yeah. employed. Well, he's uh, not. Town. Yeah, that's right. He's not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Exceptional. Yeah. Okay. Our direction is set. All right. So Good I job take directing we have, Kathy. We have the adjournment track. on the yeah. table. Do, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes yes. So the meeting is adjourned. What time is it? It is 718. Not bad.